Good morning. Uh, early. <laughs> Just woke up. But I said I would come back on this morning. And uh, I'm kind of setting up still. Uh, see if I can uh, get this tablet going. Oh, I better turn the volume down on this, huh? Okay. Got that muted. Let's see. Where do I want to go? Oh, boy. How do I find myself? No, I can up here, maybe. Okay, there's two watching. Who's here? Hi, Happy Mail. How you doing? So, I gotta figure out which way to look. So this is confusing. This is too too early to figure this out. <laughs> oh gosh. So what's going on? Uh, I was gonna make some flowers, but I don't have my stuff out here. Oh well. Which way am I supposed to look, guys? I'm not, I'm I'm confused. As I'm looking at my cell phone, that's what I'm recording on. Uh, hi, Brandy. But I'm watching the tablet, and it's reversed. Plus, there's a little bit of a delay. Hmm. What's going on? And I gotta, gotta drink my coffee here. That's my coffee. Did you get your boxes all put together yesterday? I don't know if I like this. Is this working? I was up about 2 o'clock and fell asleep again. So I'm, I'm uh, just waking up again. So... Am I? Oh, good. Maybe I can back this thing up a little bit. My hair is sticking up everywhere. That's what I don't like about being on camera. I just don't like having to watch myself. Maybe I should go get something to do, huh? Ugh. Look at this. Um, I think I'll go find some, uh, uh, fabric. Yeah, I'm, I'm mute, but I can hear myself talk. <laughs> I need to, uh, I don't like looking at myself, that's all. And, and I have to look at myself because I don't have nothing to do. <laughs> so maybe I'll go find some, uh, fabric and make some flowers. Some ribbon, maybe. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Okay. I'm just reading. Um, let's see. I gotta pick out a. Which one should I use? Cream? Let's see what shows up the best. Pink. Got these two. Maybe uh, make a blue one. Let's see. The color pink. Okay. Get uh, this one closer. I want to see my hands. I'm going to have to put a rubber band on this so it don't fall off. Okay. Angle down. Turn my heat gun on. How's this? Is it too dark? This looks pretty good on my tablet. Okay. I'll get my heat gun going and uh, hi Linda hi June how you guys doing everybody meet each other and subscribe to each other if you're not already uh, savvy to um, I think Brandy's here and Happy Mail's here so sub to one another they're all great crafters. And I am going to make a, um, a ribbon rose, just a rolled ribbon rose. And yesterday I was, uh, gosh, I spent hours and hours on the computer. My, um, my comp my printer goes to sleep. It'll go into a deep sleep, and I can't get it out of there. So I don't know what happens, and it just drives me crazy. I, I hate losing my printer. So anyway, um, I don't know if you all have this problem, but um, whenever I get around electronics... <laughs> It, it it doesn't work. They stop working, and I have problems. I don't know. And you know, like some people, if they put on a watch, the watch will stop working. Well, that's what's happening with uh, uh, me. Uh, printers don't work. <laughs> so okay, my gun's not ready yet. And, <clears throat> boy, I've got this, uh, I hope you guys can see this. I think you can. Um, let's see. So, uh, just kind of stalling a little bit. Um, the first thing you want to do is make a triangle just like this and you want to leave a little bit of room down here to hold on to and then uh, you um, just fold it over a couple times just like that and you're going to hold right down here just hold it, pinch it and I haven't made these for a while, so the 
the first one will come out crappy probably, but you got to practice. And uh, so you just want to take your thumb and put it underneath your ribbon and then put your fingers on top and twist. That's all you have to do with this flower. And then roll it over a couple times. And see, so you've made a bud. And then you want to glue right down here. See if I'm hot. Yep. Just a tiny bit. Don't go crazy with the glue. And then seal it down. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm I'm watching your chatting. Um, so if I uh, miss something, I'll try and get back. Yesterday, I could not see anybody's chat. So um, so we want to twist it. Put your thumb underneath, roll it over, and then roll your flower. Thumb underneath, roll it over. Now, at the top, if it starts to get long at the top, just push it back down. That's all you have to do. Now I'm going to glue this. So when I glue, I hold my flower, turn it upside down, and put a little glue at the bottom, and that's all. If you put too much glue, it's gonna come up through the top. So let's roll some more. So put your thumb underneath, twist, just twist, that's it, and roll. And this is so easy to do. Now this one probably will come up crappy because I'm talking and and trying to watch chat. Now look, ladies. Everybody that says, oh, I can't do that. Yes, you can. I'm old lady. My hands hurt. And if I can do it, you can do it. But this is the one that took me six months to learn. And I watched a lot of videos and I just kept pra practicing. So how are we doing? Can you see, guys? Huh? And twist. And roll. Twist and roll. And you'll get fast at this. Probably the faster you go, the better your rows, because you're not really paying attention. So I always put my glue down at the bottom. So you don't want that glue to show up at the top of your rows. I, I've done that too. I, I'm thinking, well, if it's going at the bottom, somehow it <laughs> comes up at the top. I don't know how that happens. Okay, how's that? You will load the live video so I can go back and watch step by step so I can pause. Yep, you can do that. Now, does anybody know how to uh, encode? Because I, I tried to do that yesterday. I, I think I'm going to have to wait until my son gets here. Because um, um, I would like to have more people talking than me. And you'll be able to see their picture here. And um, so I got to figure that out so we can have uh, more than two people. So I can stop here. This is a nice size rose, right? But you can keep going. I'm going to do a couple more turns and then maybe I'll do another color. So all I'm doing is twi uh, twisting and turning. And don't cut your thread uh, your fabric off. Just leave it on the roll if you've got it on the roll. So get my hands going right again. And you can stop and and uh, and adjust it a little better if it's not looking right. So I gotta go back. 
See, I can go back to where I first glued there. So I'm going to twist and roll. Twist and roll. And I'm going to stop this one so I can show you how to uh, um, finish it off. So what I do to turn it over, I put my thumb inside the last one and just turn it. And I'm going to put a little glue. And you can make these as big as you want, of course, and as small as you want. So I'm going to finish this one off. And all I'm going to do is take a look here. I want to make sure it looks pretty. I'm going to cut it off right about here. See, I left it on the roll. Just use what I needed. Uh, uh, encoding. You have to be on the big computer. That's the only way you can do it on the big computer. Um, you can't just click on live and go live. You have to have an encoder and it's some type of program that you set up to uh, um, have more people in your chat room other than yourself talking. So I've got this, and all I'm going to do is fold this down, fold that down, and glue. Just a touch of glue. My hands are shaking this morning. And Okay, so I've finished that off, and now we can cut off our tail. Now, if you're making a big one, you'll have a lot here. So the way you want to hold it to cut your tail off is like this. Um, and then just cut the tail off. And I always put a little bit of glue here. <clears throat> like that to seal it down so nothing comes apart and there's my rose this is what it looks like on the bottom um, I would not put felt or anything on there see that'll just sit right on your project just like that and I like to put flowers sideways. They don't stick straight up. I put them sideways sometimes. And then build around that flower with other flowers. So how does it look? Click on me. And says add moderator. Where do I click on that? click on you so I'm gonna have to see I can't see chat on my um, hold on hold on uh, click on your add moderator okay is now a moderator but I don't see your picture Oh, I see a, a wrench. Now, where's your picture? I'm reading how to do the... Okay, the rest. Okay, cool. Because I don't know. I've seen other people do it. Uh, oops. Okay, this is with the, but only moderators can cut in. Well, you're now a moderator. Um, this is Grogain gro ribbon. And I will try a different type of ribbon. Just the pretty, pretty. This one is... Uh, one and a half inches wide. I 
have, uh, Tina has, have you um, had other people in or has it just been you on your live? I don't know how they, how they did this one. I'll just me and Brandy trying to find out how we can do that. Okay. I'll let you. You guys figure it out because I'm not so smart when it comes to figuring stuff out. But if uh, somebody tells me how to do it, I'm I'm good. If somebody tell me how to get into this ribbon. <laughs> okay. Uh there's like a piece of tape that go up, goes all the way around this. I don't know. I might have to cut through the first layer. Jeez. There's a piece of tape that went all the way around that thing. I've never tried this, uh, this type of ribbon before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I think a moderator um, in this instance is people that can delete other chats. If it gets inappropriate in the chat, then that moderator can cut them out and delete the comments, bad comments. So I don't know how the other part works. This one might be too. too wide. I don't know. So I'll give it a couple turns. If I don't like it, I will quit using it. So make your triangle. But first, see, I talked to myself. Turns, I don't think I like this ribbon. Uh, it looks it's looking too square. square so I'm gonna I don't think I like this <laughs> yeah you want to be careful what you're doing if you forget what uh, that you're doing a live video huh you don't want to embarrass yourself I guess I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this ribbon for these flowers. So that's a fail. This one is two and a half inches and it's just too big for this. So I'll go back to my satin. Do a blue one. This is just regular satin, and it's 
one and a half inches wide. Good morning, Mary. How you doing? We're just playing um, around a little bit with uh, roses. I'm making some ribbon roses this morning. Uh, and the other ladies are trying to figure something out um, on how we can get another person into um, talking besides me. Um, I haven't figured it out yet, but anyway, we're working on it. So I'm going to start my second flower. I just made a little pink one. And this one's made out of Girl Gain. I'm going to do a blue one. I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger. That one was small. Drop my ribbon. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Um, so all I do is make a triangle. Just fold it over once. that's going to show or not. There we go. And then I fold it in from the end. And I got that. And so you put your thumb underneath and your fingers on top and twist. That's all it is. One twist. And roll. And thumb on the bottom, fingers on the top and twist. Keep twisting, and I think I better put some glue in there. So I take my flower, and you can crush it, it ain't gonna hurt it, and turn it upside down and put just a tiny bit of glue in there. Let it get sealed. Hi, honey, Siobhan, how are you doing? You're up, uh, let me see, you're, uh, let me see, six, eight o'clock at night there, right? Siobhan's in Australia. And is it still hot? I don't know how you guys uh, put up with that heat all the time. I'm just uh, making ribbon roses this morning just to have something to do. Um, I don't like to sit and be idle. <laughs> I always have to have something to do. And all I'm doing is making the ribbon rose. Using some pretty blue ones this morning. 11 a.m. Or is it p.m.? Oh, you're in Ireland. Okay, okay. That's right. I thought you were in Australia. Now, see, that's what happens when you get old. You don't remember the fine details. <laughs> so, yeah, these are real easy to make once you uh, once you figure out how to do it. Then they're easy. Is that trying to watch somebody and learn how? to hold your hands but you got uh, what did I say did I say your name wrong um. so you're five hours Oh, okay. Um, you're five hours ahead of us. I'm on the East Coast. Uh, I know uh, Canvas Craze Creation Brandy's. She's on the East Coast. Um, Happy Mail. I'm not sure where you're at. You must be on the East Coast, too. So are you getting snow and stuff over there? Oh, you're in Wisconsin? Okay. That's um, a little to the west of me, not too far. 
couple states over. I'm getting a lot of snow, I bet you, in Wisconsin. I used to live there. Oh, wait. Yeah, I used to live in Milwaukee. Ohio. Yeah, see, we're all basically uh, on the uh, east side of the states. Oh, I better put some glue on this. So, how's it looking? I'm just going to grab it. Put a little bit of glue right there. See, I get busy talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Not much snow this year. So far, I'm in Green Bay. Okay. Well, I live to the east of Lake Michigan. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm lower Michigan. Um... I'm about 30 miles from the lake, so we get lake effect snow, if you know what that is, anybody. Um, and uh, so we get dumped on. We get massive amounts of snow. And it's sometimes I say, a.k.a. Alaska. <laughs> it's just like living in Alaska where I live. So if you know where Chicago is, and if you go around that little loop. I'm on the other side of the lake from Chicago. And since we live so close to the lake, we get a lot of snow. Okay, so uh, let me see. I also live, if you all know where uh, Notre Dame is, I'm about three miles north of Notre Dame. And uh, I live on the state line of Indiana and Michigan. I can, if I go down the street a little bit, I can see Indiana. <coughs> so I just keep going. I'm going to glue this a little bit. I don't know if you can see where I'm gluing, but it's at the bottom of the flower. So, um, get this going again here. And I don't know why this happens. Maybe I should uh, try and fix this, but I would like to see more, more of the sunny part of the satin part of the, the uh, ribbon. And it comes up on the back side. So, maybe I'll reverse this the way I. Uh, I roll it. So I think I'm going to stop this. This is a small one. Eh, maybe I'll keep going. A couple more rows. The bigger it gets, the more you have to glue. Well, thank you. Um, those are fun to make. I love making those twisted roses. And they come out so pretty. Let's see. That's how we're doing. I think I'm going to cut this one off now. So, Oh, yeah. Yours is just as nice. Um... Those are really easy to do. I love making those. And you can use any kind of fabric on them. I'll go another 
another twist here. Yeah, you should have seen some of my very first rolled roses. They were awful. I threw a lot of them in the trash. <laughs> After you glue them, you can't fix them. Okay, I think I'm going to finish this one and start another color. Guys, let me know if I uh, go out of focus, because I can't tell. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. I was having computer problems yesterday. Uh, it was actually um, printer problems. So I was kind of... I didn't get any chores done. When something breaks like that, it drives me nuts. I have to fix it. So all I do to finish... Morning, Vanessa. How are you? We were all telling everybody where we're from. I'm from the lower part of Michigan and... Um, the other ladies, we've got one here from Ireland. That's Siobhan, Pearl, and Button. And one from Ohio. That's Happy Mail, Tina. Mary Jones is from Ohio. And uh, Brandy's from... Is it, um, is it Connecticut or New Hampshire? You're from Mass. Okay. We're um we're the East Coast ladies, I think. So I'm just finishing up this this little ribbon rose. New Hampshire. Okay. Did I say that? I know I said Connecticut and Oh well. My short term memory sucks. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've got a real good long-term memory. And then you just cut the little tail off. And I think I want to get that a little closer. Don't be afraid to cut because it's pretty well glued down all the way around. Uh, so I've got it really short. I don't know if you can see that. And just turn it over and press down. These are kind of fun to make too, but I, I like the twisted rolled rose the best. But once you get this down, I'll let it dry a little bit longer. They are beautiful. And there's the finished. And I will not put a backing on this. Uh, I know it looks kind of crappy in the back. But as soon as you put that on that project, you'll never see it. And I'll go back and pick off all the glue on this. So that's the blue one. <coughs> I've got uh, the pink, smaller pink one, and the blue one so far this morning. Isn't that pretty together? And then let's see what other color I got. I got purple and yellow. I don't think the purple's going to show up on camera very good. So I'll go with the yellow. Let's see. Put that over here. Put 
what's everybody working on? Any good projects? I'm getting tired of Valentine's Day. Um, my scissors are shot. I've got one good pair left that uh, is these I got from uh, China. And I just like to look at them. I'm afraid to use them. <laughs> uh, I guess I should hide them. <laughs> but they're a nice pair. That's all I got. All the rest of my scissors are junk. But hey, they're still working on I'll keep them until they fall apart, I guess. I dyed my yellow laces with tea. Came out beautiful. Vintage. I showed them in my video. I'll have to go. I, um, I'll go look today uh, as soon as I get off here and I watch all your videos and I watch I try to watch your as much as I can I may watch 20 30 videos a day because um, I'll watch them during the day and then I'll watch them at night I don't know I have no life <laughs> yeah but uh, I keep busy I do things during the day as the winter is so hard for me I can't go anywhere so you get tired of <clears throat> watching TV and uh, so I'm gonna go through this one again uh, maybe I'll do it a little bit faster have have my uh, coffee I've never drank coffee. Um, yeah, pleurisy. I can't remember. That's, um, I think I had uh, pleurisy once, but it went away. Yeah, the lungs. Uh, it hurts. Hey, Christine, how are you? Krista, how are you? I'm just uh, making some ribbon roses this morning. I should have got dressed, but I got up late. So, um, so all you do, this one is an inch and a half on the ribbon. And I thought I was going to try and do it this way because I want to see more of the sheen. So I'm going to flip it over with the sheen side to me. See on this one you can't see the pretty shiny part. It's all the, the back side. So I'm going to flip it this way and maybe some more of the sheen will come up. So what I'm going to do is all you have to do, famous last words, all you got to do is make your triangle and then you fold it over a couple times, get to the end of that triangle and then the thumb on the bottom, your fingers on top and twist and that's it. Don't make it too hard or too difficult. So we've just formed the bud. One more little roll. So bottom, twist. Yeah, it took, it took me a long time to get the hang of this and I don't know why. I think they were showing me how to do it wrong. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to blame it on. They weren't doing it right. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I'm getting any more of the sheen. Eh, 
not really. So I guess it doesn't matter what side you start on. What's going on in the rest of the world, everybody? <clears throat> Hello, honey. <clears throat> How you doing? I'm just making some ribbon roses. She's got the prettiest nails, ladies. Go subscribe to her and watch her do her nails. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got my uh, wood burner going. Yeah, but it gives me allergies. Um, you get a lot of, what's it called, soot, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing like a, um, a fireplace heat. It's so warm and comforting. I guess I better put some glue on here. have to have something to complain about. We're either too hot or we're too cold. I'm too cold. Because I'd love the heat. I'm from, uh, I was born and raised in California. And uh, my husband is was in the service. That's where I met him in California at an air base. So when he got out of the service, we moved to Michigan. I wasn't thinking ahead. I think I had a problem. <laughs> but when you get married, you go where your husband goes. Right, ladies? Okay, Brandy. Go make some coffee. So, but I kind of wished he was from someplace else other than Michigan because it's cold here. I'm a little California girl to Michigan. Oh well, we deal with what we are served, I guess. I'm going to make this one a small one, I think. So I'm going to glue this down and cut it off. It's hard for me to make the big ones while I'm talking. You've got to kind of really concentrate on that. That's great, Vanessa. Sub to everybody. Um, hopefully, I'll have a live chat every morning, and uh, you all can come in and, and pick up some subbies. Gotta fix this here. Better glue there. So what else do you guys want me to do besides flowers? Is there anything you'd like for me to uh, work on? Talk to you later. I'll watch when 
Okay, Tina, I'm not going to be on much longer because i got to get up and start my chores. I'm going to cut this off. And finish up this flower. And so, this is what I've got. Got the tail down here that I was hanging on to. And now I'm just going to bend this over and bend it over again. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it. Stick pins. You want me to do stick pins? Okay. I can do those. Those are easy. I'll have to get some, some of my beads out and stick pins. So when are you going to do a live, Siobhan? Just cut everything off. I love beads. I've got a lot of beads. I've been playing with beads all my life. Put a little glue at the bottom. Set her down. To some of you ladies, I follow Brandy. She helps me through this. Well, you're going to have to start crafting. Find something to uh, do. Um, you know what? I used to be... Um, I went to college for cosmetology, so that's why I like watching you do nails. Uh, <clears throat> but I got out of that business a long time ago. Too hard, too hard to stand on your feet for eight hours a day. But I love, I love doing hair and nails and makeup. So there's my little yellow rose. Yes, I love to use the tweezers. Um, a, a good ribbon to try with tweezers is get the smallest rickrack ribbon. I love to make the rickrack ribbon with tweezers. <laughs> is that torturing ourselves or what? Oh, you can't you can't find small flowers or roses. Let me see. They're, the small ones are getting hard to find. I don't know what happened. You used to be able to to um, get small flowers, but I can't find them either. They're really hard. Tried to make beaded centers for flowers last night. Couldn't find any. Uh, you don't need a needle. All you need is um, some filament. That's I don't use beading needles, but get some real fine filament that's uh, the fishing wire and you don't need a needle that's what I use I could use a cup of coffee this is this is my coffee I don't want to show you the name but because um, I don't want to get kicked off YouTube <laughs> for advertising. What do you mean, how, how will you thread them? Just put the, the, the filament through the hole? Oh, with tweezers? No, you don't need tweezers. Maybe I'm missing, uh, maybe I'm, uh, missing something go back I tried to make beaded centers for flowers last night couldn't find any needle oh so you're using needle and thread right to uh, make a center on fabric let me think about that 
What kind, what size bead are you using? Seed beads? Can large rivet be made into flowers? Yep. Yep. If it's too large, okay. Uh, if it's too large, Brandy, just cut it in half or cut some of it off. Um, well, you'll have to show me what you do in Siobhan so I can... Um, yeah, now see this one, this one is, um, uh, let's see, this one's two and a half, but it wasn't very flexible, so it was hard to bend, but yeah, you can use the big ribbons. You can also use, um, let's see what I got here. You can use wire ribbon too. Actually, I'll go ahead and if you got if you guys still want to, yes, I will try today. Okay, uh, I'll make one more, and then I'll have to leave. I gotta get busy. Make one more. These are actually a little bit easier to make, the wired. I'll go quickly. Well, you can make flowers out of everything. Anything and everything, just about. See, this, uh, the wire ribbon folds real nice. It stays put. See, I haven't even put any glue on this yet. Yeah, I can stop right here if I wanted to and make a small one. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> they don't let me drive in the winter time. <laughs> I just, uh, you know, I have to start laundry and put wood on the fire and stuff like that. Do your daily chores. Yep, cut the edge. Make it look pretty. Make it look shabby. So if I was really uh, concentrating, uh, Krista, yeah, this little one, and this one's really huge compared to some of the ribbons you can do with uh, tweezers. But just a few little turns and you got a tiny little rose. Let's see where I'm at here. Get my twist in there. Yeah, you can, uh, now, um, I did the twisted rolled rose yesterday. Can't make that type from ribbon. I've never tried it on ribbon, but I can. Let me stop this here and see what happens. So I'll cut this off. This down.
Okay, this one is um, made out of wire. So let's see what we got. I got a little bit. About this much, I guess. We'll see how this turns out on a twisted rolled rose. Oh, this one's going to be pretty. Oh. You're going to have to show me, Krista. Show me how to do it. That's the one you're using the tweezers on, right? Yes, this will make a beautiful twisted rolled rose. Well, thank you, uh, Brandy, for uh, uh, letting me know. I don't know. Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> but the fabric ones are pretty, too. So I'll do this one real quick. Let's see. Hello, honey. Yes, you come every day and you support me, everybody. Sub to Diversion, Diversion Maxima. She comes in and visits every day and lets me know that she's there. She, um, she's got some cute little girls that do videos. We don't speak, um, I don't speak her language, but I watch her videos and uh, support her. We all don't speak English, but that don't mean that um, we can pick up a subby from somewhere. So what do you think, Brandy? This is uh, a twisted ribbon rose. Twisted ribbon rolled rose. <laughs> Getting too many R's in there. I gotta let this glue dry before I pick it up. But it does need a center on this one. Cute. Now Brandy's gonna keep all her ribbon, huh? Now I've gotta glue this end down. Just a tiny bit. Except you platinum nails did nail course years ago. So that's the um, just the um, the satin ribbon, just made out of satin ribbon instead of fabric. Yesterday I did the fabrics. So I see. I think I still have them here. These are the roses made out of fabric and satin. You can get this one bigger. I just cut off a little bit. Another satin or fabric t-shirt material. So this is a good idea. I like this. And I get to see the shiny part. So guys, I think I'm going to go get dressed and do some chores. If you all start a, a live chat, I'll come in and visit and give you some support. And um, let me know what you think. You like my flowers? Very pretty. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day today. And... Uh, 
do something fun. I hope you all try to make a, um, a flower. I'm so glad you all came in. And uh, maybe I'll stop in tomorrow. And, and uh, Siobhan has asked me to make some stick pins. So I'll get those ready to do tomorrow. Bye-bye, honey. Love to all. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.